know, touching on the cheating thing that everybody throws out there when it comes to Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, second fight. I just got some honest questions, you know, for the people that ride with this. Now, in the past, Tyson Fury um, has, has been exposed and people say he, you know, he used messed up gloves and he's been a drug cheating in the past and you know he'd been trying to tamper with his sparring part when he was sparring he was tampering with the gloves that's what everybody was saying and look i'm not gonna say it was true because i'm not the one there you know everything is speculation but in the second fight with fury there were a few things that deontay wilder and his fanboys were saying were the reason why he lost that fight let's run through a few of them we got Mark Breland spiked his water. We got the costume was too heavy. We got um, Tyson Fury's gloves were tampered with. And not only tampered with, first it was tampered with. They said that his hand wasn't in the glove all the way. Then they said, uh, while I believe he said he didn't have egg weights in his glove. That's why he had a dent in his head. So... What I'm trying to figure out is which one of those things was the actual cause of you of him losing. Assuming that any of those things were true, was it a combination of them that that caused him to lose, or was it just one? Because how does this work? How does all of those play in the factor together? If they all were okay, so that would have to take Wilder's team co-conspiring with Fury's people for that to happen. For all of those things to happen, including Fury. So that means Fury, I mean, that means including Wilder. So that would mean Wilder conspired against himself, right? Because he's responsible for wearing the suit. So he wore the suit. And so that means he caused his own loss too. He contributed to his own loss, if you think about it like that. So how how does this work where the, the, the heavy suit tied in with being spiked by Mark Breland tied in with Deontay Wilder, uh, Tyson Fury's um, gloves not being fully seated. It's also tied in with the egg weights. So, were all of those a factor all at one time? How does that work? So, that would mean Mark Breland had to come over to Tyson Fury's people and say, look, I'm going to spike Fury, I'm going to spike Wilder's water I'm going to drug him, the same guy, right? The same dude that's been supporting and paying me a salary and stuff that I've been training. I'm going to spike his water because I don't want to be his trainer no more. I want him to fire me. So I'm going to I'm going to spike his water for you guys. And then Fury people like, yeah, so what we're going to do is um, once you you go ahead, you spike him first, um, Breland. We pay you some money. You spike him first. And then we're going to put this egg weight in, Wild, in, um, in Tyson Fury's right glove. And then we're going to make his left glove flimsy. We're going to keep his, his fist lower inside of his glove so he can flick his punches or more his knuckle can hit Wilder. Oh, make sure, Breland, make sure after you spike the water, you tell Wilder to put on that 40-pound suit so we can make so. You know, he can uh, contribute to his own uh, demise in this fight. You see where I'm going with this? Does any of it tie into each other? Does it make any sense? Assuming, let's just assume it was true that Tyson Fury did cheat. Can it be, like, does it, is it realistically possible for all of those things to be true all at the same time? If it was if it was just the spiked water or it was Tyson Fury's gloves, why Wilder use the suit excuse too? Why would he need to use the suit excuse if you got two other excuses? You got the spiked water and then you got the glove thing. So why would you use the suit? Just some questions for the Wilder fanboys. That's it. Can y'all answer those for me? Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all later on the next video. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Catch y'all later.